consecutive odd integers. Just like before, we're going to start by looking at our number line. Uh, the number line farther left is smaller. The farther left you go, the farther right you go is bigger. So anything to the right is bigger than anything to the left. We read our number line starting left and going right. So let's pick a number, negative or positive, on our number line that is an odd number. Last time I picked negative, the time before I picked a positive, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'll go here with this negative 1. It just looks good to me. So to get from the first negative integer that I, sorry, the first odd integer that I have chosen, I need to find the very next one. We're on the number line, so we go to the right to get to the next odd integer. 0 is not odd, 1 is, so my next odd integer is here. To find another odd integer, I go over, that's even, I can't stop there, so I go over here. I've gone two more, and I found my next odd integer. From there, 4 is not odd, so I keep going to 5. Alright, so let's look at this again. I, what if I don't know what my first integer is? Then I am going to call it by a letter. N stands for the number that is the odd integer. How do I get from that first number to the next odd? Well, I went two places. How do I get from that first number to the odd after that? I went four places to get to three. From negative 1, how many places did I have to go to get to 5? So notice, even though we're doing odd integers, the setup for those integers are the same list of terms as the setup was for our even integers. So for odd integers, our first number would be n, our second number would be n plus 2, our third would be n plus 4, and so on. Always adding two more. And that is because the number line, every other one is odd. So we have to count by twos. Let's look as an example. Find three consecutive odd integers whose sum is 99. So we've already listed the three uh, numbers, the setup up here. So we have that covered. They are consecutive odd because we've counted by twos. Odds happen every other one on the number line. And integers whose sum is. Sum means the answer you get when you add, and when we added, we got 99. So we have n, n plus 2, and n plus 4, and these three particular integers, when I add them, I get 99. So let's add them. We have three n's and we have a two and a four. Two and four is six. We need to finish solving whatever we do to one side of this equal sign. We have to do to the other. We want only letters over here and only numbers over here. So I am going to get rid of this plus 6, line it up with its like term on the other side. Positive 99 minus 6 is positive 93. So I have 3 n's is equal to positive 93. 3 n is the same as 3 times n. The opposite of multiply is divide. So I divide both sides of this equal sign by 3. And I have that n is equal to 31. So I take my information back up to where I had listed those. If n is 31, then n plus 2 is 31 plus 2, which is 33. We have 31 
our third number would be 31 plus 4, which is 35. So our three odd integers are 31, 33, and 35.